continuing the video because the battery died just now. Now, so I given a bottle of Hartman solution from two to uh, 30 p.m. to now is 5:15 p.m. I observed that the dog is much more lively. If you watch the other video, it was practically doped because the other way I given painkillers, quite potent ones, burofenin and uh, fentanyl. So now with the drips given, the dog is more alert. Now I noticed that uh, the vet has said that the dog had passed bloody diarrhea and I noticed that it's true. Greenish, greenish, black greenish diarrhea was passed just now. Now other than that, other than that, you can see the eye is really bad. Whereas the right eye, which was which was uh, treated, the, the right ulcer which was treated by me in 2009 when the dog was 9 years old and that was 7 years ago has no problem no more problem of inflammation and conjunctivitis so the moral of the story is much depends on the luck of the, the dog because uh, some vets don't believe in tastography or stitching up the eyelid even though that there could be a cornea ulcer, a deep cornea ulcer and uh, as, far, as far as it, the, the owner is concerned the eyeball eventually fill up again so she wasn't uh, aware that in such deep cornea ulcers that uh, there will be infection over time so she did not consult other vets and uh, so now it's three years later there was a big prolapse of the, the basal membrane early on two days ago and uh, she sent it to the third vet another vet who hospitalized the dog and advised enucleation removal of the eyeball and also suggested there is an increase in intraocular pressure as well which is true now you can see that there is conjunctivitis and uh, there is really no option but to but to uh, remove the eyeball whereas previously previously has in this eye a simple tassography Sticking up the eyelid I would have uh, let the cornea ulcer heal. Now you can see the cornea ulcer has healed, has a black circle, black circular spot in the center of the eye. In the center of the eye, pigmented, pigmented circular spot. And uh, for all intent purpose, it is effective in in the preventing leakage of any more aqueous from inside the eye so from 2009 when when i stitch up the eyelids and and the healing of the cornea ulcer to now 2016 70 years you can see that this right eye has no problem but uh, according to the owner after i stitch up this eye in 2009 the left eye had a similar cornea ulcer and she went to the other vet and it was treated but without tassography, without uh, stitching up of the eyelid uh, apparently the dog went under the bed or under the, the table or mattress and injured her eyes, the, the left eye so in 2009 after I stitched up the, the right eye eyelids, the left eye suffered a similar cornea ulceration so she went to the other vet uh, apparently there was not much treatment except eye drops and uh, so there was 2009 the first episode of cornea ulceration how deep it is I wouldn't know because she didn't come and see me 
and also she didn't uh, wasn't aware of follow up is needed. Then in 2013, the whole eyeball or the whole cornea collapsed, whole eyeball collapsed, and that was bad. This indicated a deep penetrating or uh, deep ulcer with all the aqueous leaking out. So according to her, the vet just gave some atropine and eye drops and that was it. And she continued treatment by buying eye drops from the pet shop, Eyes Bright solution, which claims that it can prevent dry eyes. And so she applies every day for twice, twice a day from 2013 to 2016 until two days ago when the basement membrane popped out from inside according to the, the latest vet before me the diagnosis was decimetosil which means a prolapse of the decimet membrane and, uh, and also the diagnosis of infection of the inside of the eye so they strictly advise decimetos, uh, eyeball removal or enucleation, which I agree with the advice. The only thing is whether this dog can, this 16 year old dog can take the anesthesia or not. If you can take the anesthesia after removal of this eyeball, then uh, everybody will be happy. So the owner is aware of the risk, the very high risk in this case. Tomorrow I will perform the surgery using a short, as short as possible anesthesia and uh, the dog has been given sufficient drip and you can see most of the the painkillers must have been uh, flushed out through the urine because the dog looks much more active now and was able to stand just now I changed the papers because of the diarrhea greenish black diarrhea which is not a good sign Antibiotics have been given by the other vet and so my job is just to do the surgery to remove the eyeball, it's called enucleation uh, tomorrow at 10 a.m. May 2, 2016 Let's hope that this dog will be able to s survive the anesthesia and a happy ending is there The Opaya vets Decimetosis of left eye and uh, infection of the whole eyeball. Glaucoma. May 1, 2016. Singapore. Shizu, 16 years old. With right eye, eye cornea ulceration, 7 years ago, done by me. And with a tarsography, I was touching up the eyelids and with no, no infection and uh, now this surgery is not favoured by many vets especially the younger ones for some reasons but uh, I find it I find it to be very effective in uh, letting the cornea also heal usually it's a white spot but in this case you can see you can see a, a circle of black pigmented central circle of black pigment that is the scar the scar is normally white but this is black in any case the important thing is there's no more inflammation and conjunctivitis of the right, right eye and uh, and uh, painful eyes are very very uh, painful to the dogs Ulcerated eyes are very painful to the dog, it's just that they don't talk. And so you can see the condition has dropped with the appetite loss of appetite. You can see the dog is very thin, although he does eat. Now the good thing about this dog is he can still hold his urine, hold his urine and goes down twice a day to pee and poo. Uh, if the owner comes back late to bring her down, she, she really is very desperate. You know to get moving. So at 16 years of age, control the bladder is good. Now she vomited twice last two weeks. So this could be due to some reasons. Blood test shows high urea, but uh, creatinine is low. 
is normal. And uh, other than that, there's, I don't think the, the, the vet has done uh, hematology for some reasons unknown. So we'll wait till tomorrow 10 a.m. for the enucleation of the eyeball. And uh, if the old dog, 16 year old, old dog can survive, then she should be able to live longer. At 16 years is very old for a Shih Tzu. Normally I predict 12 years for the average Shih Tzu to live. For Pyovets, Singapore, May 1, 2016, 5.30 p.m.